We are continuing to follow breaking news this morning. A shooting in downtown Savannah it happened around 2.30 at the intersection of Broughton and Jefferson Streets. Team coverage going on this morning. Let you know more about this story. Christina Tuso is over by Memorial Health where two people were injured in the shooting. Want to start though with Ben downtown. Everything is moving out there. Broughton Street was shut down, but now as we can see that things are moving along smoothly. Yeah, Mike, uh, and that's what was the one of the policemen's goals was to get this cleared up by uh, 6 37 o'clock. So when that rush hour and the buses started coming through here, that that would be opened up. Of course, this whole area uh, on Broaden from Jefferson all the way down to Barnard and then early, uh, early in the morning, all the way down to Montgomery, all blocked off. But you can see people, uh, a lot of people coming and going now, just uh, looking at some of the damage caused by this shooting. Uh, police cleared off about an hour ago. Uh, there was a few officers here, forensic officers. Uh, talking with some of the owners of the businesses that were affected, uh, some of the damage. Uh, just uh, again, just finishing up their investigation. We'll still we'll hear from uh, Savannah Metro probably later on in the morning as they gather information and release more. Right now, though, I want to go and listen to uh, one of the witnesses here. This is again one of the last times we'll hear from people that were actually on the scene when those shots rang out. Dude, unfortunately, he got shot two times in the chest, and you know he was he was responsive. You know, I talked to a couple of officers. They said from previous experiences that they seen that he was he was going to be okay. But they said two of the bullets exited and almost or entered and almost exited out the back. Uh, and again, guys, we'll continue to monitor this. Uh, let's head over to Christina Tuja. She has more on uh, those two injuries uh, and maybe uh, their conditions. Let's head over to Christina now with the team coverage. Christina. Thanks, Ben. I am at Memorial Hospital where both of those victims were taken to be treated here at the emergency room. Now, initially, when all of this started happening, we kind of thought that it may have been more of a drive-by situation, especially seeing all of the shattered glasses um, of those businesses on down in, on Broad Street downtown. But the more reports that we're hearing, we're actually hearing that the suspect approached the vehicle there on Broad Street and opened fire in the car. He hit one of the victims several times in the chest area. Um, we're actually hearing uh, also reports of hitting him in the abdomen and lower back. Uh, still not sure on his condition. He was rushed here to the hospital. The other victim there was just grazed by a bullet. Uh, you did hear from one of those witnesses earlier saying that the uh, victim that was hit several times in the chest was responsive and conscious. So that is a little bit of good news. Uh, we're not quite sure, again, on the status of these injuries. We did put a phone call into the uh, spokesperson here at Memorial Hospital. He did get back in touch with me. They have not released any names or uh, conditions for these uh, for either of these victims. However, once that police report comes down, we'll be able to get you a little bit more information. From Memorial Hospital, Christina Tuso, WTOC News.